Golden Opportunities is paid for by Elder Productions. Hello, I'm Lori Steiner. Welcome to Golden Opportunities. Today, we'll help you take advantage of all parts of your Medicare plan. Then, we'll tell you how the kitty tax cashes in on the income of your young offspring. We'll uncover the advantages of having a personal concierge. Plus, want to be a winner at weight loss? We'll step up with a program that's making great strides. And home health care is hard. We'll see the situation from the caregiver's side. It's time to get geoing, so pull up a chair and join us at our kitchen table for Golden Opportunities. As our age increases, so can our blood pressure. To keep adding up the birthdays, we need to bring down our BP. Dr. Robert Resnicki is here to, show, to tell us how. Dr. Resnicki is the Chief Medical Officer for Medical Mutual of Ohio. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. So high blood pressure is a huge issue in this country. So the numbers really tell the story, right? The numbers really do tell the story. And about 70 or 75 million adult Americans have high blood pressure. That's roughly one in three. Mm -hmm. After the age of 65, though, it's almost two in three. So it's a huge problem for us. And those people are getting serious diseases like heart disease, kidney disease, strokes. And we think approximately 1,000 people per day die from hypertension or high blood pressure related issues. Wow, that's a lot. Mm. Now we can't turn back time and become younger, so how do we help bring this blood pressure under control? Mm -hmm. Well, the first thing is you can't bring your blood pressure under control if you don't know you have it, <laughs> because it is a silent disease, so you do need to be checked. And you can either be checked in your physician or provider's office, or you can get it checked at the drugstore, or you can get a home monitoring equipment. I would suggest if you do get home monitoring equipment that you do bring it to an appointment so that it can be measured against what you're getting in your provider's office. Ah, make sure it's in line. Okay, so you get this reading, all these numbers, what do the numbers mean? Mm -hmm. The numbers are very important, but they're very simple. We measure a systolic and a diastolic blood pressure. Systolic is just the pressure in your arteries when your heart is beating. The diastolic is when your heart is relaxed. Now we Consider high blood pressure if the top number is 140 or higher, the lower number is 90, but it usually is higher than we would like it ideally. Your provider can tell you what you should shoot for, but often we throw around the numbers 120 over 80. Okay, so as I said, we can't help our age and we can't help our family background, but you, you think that's important? It's critically important and oftentimes for better or worse the apple doesn't fall far from the tree and so many of us are a victim of our genes and and our backgrounds but you can use that to your benefit because if your parents or your siblings have had certain problems you need to be particularly vigilant about that mm. and to be checked for those particular conditions. Okay and I'm sure a healthy lifestyle is just a part of the game, right? It's very important. And, it, and what we mean is diet, exercise, and your health habits. And so exercising regularly. With this one, it is important to watch that salt, to, to not be putting extra salt or to, to stay away from the extra salty foods, staying away from sugar things. And don't forget, um, tobacco, nicotine raises your blood pressure, as does too much caffeine or alcohol. Okay, so what's the best kind of foods? The fruits and veggies? <laughs> Absolutely, and, it, and it's fine to have a few sweets, but everything needs to be in moderation. Okay, and doesn't also medication factor into trying to control high blood pressure? Absolutely, it does. It doesn't do you any good, remember, to get a prescription. It doesn't do you any good to fill that prescription. The only thing that cures a condition or treats it is taking the medication. So it's very important that you get it, take it like it's prescribed, and then discuss any problems you might have with your provider. 
Okay, what are those kind of side effects that you might be worried about? Well, sometimes you can get sleepy from it, sometimes you can get dizzy from it, and everybody has a little bit different risk or everybody has a little bit different sensitivity. And so medicines do need to be adjusted, but by checking it at home and being very careful to check it with your doctor and take it just like he says or she says is the most important thing. All right, great information. If you want to keep bringing on the birthdays, doctor, uh, follow Dr. Resnicki's advice to bring down your high blood pressure. And for more help, use the information that's coming up next. My thanks to Dr. Resnicki for joining us today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Find out more about Medical Mutual of Ohio by visiting www.medmutual.com slash go or call 1-844-606-5386. Next, the kitty tax doesn't kid around. But first, you don't have to be a footwear fashionista to appreciate a dramatic development in shoe design way back in 1800. This innovation added an incredible amount of comfort, keeping our tootsies from feeling too tight. What was this rebooting? We'll put our best foot forward with the answer when we return. Let's all wake up to better health. Breathe it in and let it all out. Find a partner, an ally, a Metro Health doctor who will listen as long as it takes so you can celebrate every day by living it your way. Get your physical checkup, regular screening at Metro Health and wake up every day to better health. Change is healthy. In 1800, cobbler William Young was a shoe-in to ease our way when we walked. He buckled down and invented different shoes for each foot. So he left the old design behind and came up with the right way to fit each of our feet. You want to share the wealth with your kids and grandkids, but that could cost them and you. Jim Linemeyer is here to gift us with great information about gifting. Jim is a certified financial planner professional with the Line Weaver Financial Group. Welcome back to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Are we talking about the annual gifting limits? No, that's what most people are familiar with, and that's the $14,000 per person per year that you can gift without any gift taxes or real consequences. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to talk about today is the kitty tax, though, which a lot of people don't understand in an aggregation, it could actually cost you more in taxes. Okay, the kitty tax, what is that? Yes, well, we love having these kitties around, but what ends up <laughs> happening is that uh, if we're not careful uh, and you're trying to put money in the kitty's name or kids' names, uh, the rules changed back in 1986. And basically what the government said is that if you're trying to put a lot of money in their name to shelter maybe some taxation on the interest and stuff, well, if it goes over a certain level, we're going to penalize you. And what that income level is is $2,100. So basically what it means is the first $1,050 is really going to be basically tax-free. The next $1,050 that would be coming in in any give, one given year from interest income, dividends, capital gains in that kid's account, that second $1,050 is going to be taxed at the child's rate. Maybe they're not working, so potentially it could still be tax-free or very low. Right. And then anything over the $2,100 is going to come back at the parent's rate. And that's where a lot of people don't realize some of the tax ramifications. Okay. So if a child keeps their investment income at $2,100 or below, then they avoid paying taxes. Basically, yes. Depending, but if they have a little bit of an earned income or something, that second thousand fifty could get hit with a little bit of tax. But for all intents and purposes, you're exactly right. Okay. So, if there's more than one child in the family, though, I mean, you're talking about the kitty could be kitties. Right. So, how does one. that affect the <laughs> the tax rates and exactly. the investments? Exactly. Well, a lot of people don't realize it gets aggregated. Okay, so like myself, I have three kids, and we actually have an example for your viewers, but if you add up all these kids' accounts and you add up the interest that's accumulating in all of them at the end of the year, it could be pushing you into another bracket. Okay, so, so you've got an example you said. I do. So let's say the parents are making about $230,000 of taxable income in the household. You have a child named Molly, and their account earns $2,700 for the year. So that's over the $2,100 threshold, so that's $600. So normally you wouldn't think it's too 
bad, but you also have Brent as a son, and they that child has $3,200 of interest income, again over the $2,100. So now we have $1,100 from him. So we're looking at $1,700 of additional taxable income that, guess what? It's jumping all the way up to the parent's bracket, and it's not at the, you know, the, as marginal at the um, lower ones. It just it's slaps come in their way the up high. It's going over the 230 okay. so it's adding up to quite a bit. <laughs> so how does that actually impact the parent's taxes then? Well, what's going to happen is that the first... Um, Basically, uh, $1,450 is going to be taxed at a 28% bracket, and the remaining $250 is going to be taxed at a 33% bracket. So their taxes go up, and a lot of people miss this, and it's something that gets added at a very high rate. Wow. You've got to have some proper planning with this, right? You do, yes. All right. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. With a kitty tax, your financial gifts could become costly. For help in gifting without regret, give Jim a call. His number's next. For more information, call the Line Weaver Financial Group at 1 888 313 4009 or click to www.lineweaver.net. Next service and support on your schedule. Looking for places to go? Things to do? Welcome to our community calendar. Rediscover movie and music magic when Blossom Music Center features Raiders of the Lost Ark on the big screen September 3rd and 4th. Each night the sensational score will be performed live by the Cleveland Orchestra. To note more information or tap into tickets, call 800-686-1141 or log on to www.clevelandorchestra.com. Your mom needs the gutters clean, but you live out of state and can't help. Or your dad is asking for some tech support, but trying to teach him long distance over the phone is failing. They don't really need medical help, just a helping hand now and then. That's when you might want to hand it off to a service like Senior Premier Concierge. Scott Kravitz is the general manager of the company and a concierge himself. And he is here to explain what exactly that is. Now, I know a concierge from a hotel, a fancy hotel. And they find the best restaurant in town for you, and then they make your reservations and send you on your way. So what is this business? That's the way we've always heard of a concierge, yes. Um, they are there to make your stay comfortable. They provide information and resources and then arrange them for you. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what we do as a senior concierge, but we actually perform, perform the work ourselves. Better way to explain it is think of us as a hired family member. Okay. Kind of a, a rent a son or rent a daughter type of service. All right, well, that's an interesting way to look at it. But instead of restaurants or plays, you handle lots of things. So we handle home management, transportation, uh, cleaning lots of technology assistance, really <laughs> anything that a senior would need or ask their children to help out with. But because of long distance or full-time work schedules or raising their own families, they're not always around to provide. So with the leadership of our CEO, Mary Helen Wright, well, we consider it our mission to serve today's most accomplished generation. All right, good of you to think of it that way. So. Give us an example of how your service would actually work. Yes, so a good example is we have a client that has a daughter in England, a son in South Carolina, and although mom is very active, they were looking for somebody local that was capable and trustworthy to help um, when needed with uh, daily tasks. Uh, we got started when the children bought mom and dad um, a suite of Apple products. So a big desktop computer, an iPad, an iPhone, and an Apple TV to replace the cable. Oh boy. And they said, this is going to really help you with communicating and sharing with our grandchildren, or with your grandchildren. Problem was, to mom, an Apple was something you eat. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> so we went out there and we set everything up and then taught her how to use the apps, the functions, the features. Um, and continue to provide ongoing support um, at her own pace. Really. Okay. And then it went well beyond that though, right? It did. So when, fi when winter finally ended here in Cleveland, <laughs> uh, she wanted the gutters checked and cleaned and the grass cut. So we did that. Uh, she's also worked with our in-house interior designer to re um, redesign and uh, renovate some bedrooms and bathrooms. 
and she needed a new car. She hates the car buying process. <laughs> Don't so, we all? <laughs> yeah. So I, uh, we handled the research and the negotiations on the car that she wanted, and all she had to do was come into the dealership and sign the paperwork and write a check. Wow. So it sounds like if it's a simple chore, you can kind of handle it on your own. If it's something a little bit more expansive, like that renovation, mm -hmm. you, you, you just monitor and make sure it's the right company and they do what they're supposed to have done, correct? Yeah, exactly. So we work on their behalf to manage the, the process of some larger projects. Uh, but we also handle smaller tasks ourselves, like rides to the airport and out to lunch with friends and help with the pets. Um, we help with organizing and cleaning, and we don't like to think about this right now, but shoveling the driveway mm -hmm. is going to become an issue. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, our focus is really creating a trusting partnership with the families so that when help is wanted or needed uh, to maintain the lifestyle that we are on speed dial and we provide the work um, to their expectations. So you mentioned speed dial, they just call you when they need you? They call us when they need us, yes. Um, we're, we're based on, a, our services are based on an hourly rate. Um, if you need one hour, that's fine. If you need more, that's fine too. What we found is most families opt for the 12 or 25 hour package, which effectively reduces the so price. So what are the prices? Prices, yes. Uh, our rate is $49 an hour. Our 12-hour package brings the hourly rate to $41 an hour, and 25-hour package is about $35 an hour, which we think is very reasonable. Right. I think that's pretty reasonable, too. So, yes. good information. Your parents know you would help them with household chores and errands if you could, but sometimes that's just not possible. So why not consider a concierge who can cater to their schedule and their needs? To find out more, use the information that's coming up next. My thanks to Scott for joining us today. To learn more, call Senior Premier Concierge at 440-681-0501 or visit their website, www.spcconcierge.com. Up next, is it what you're eating or what's eating you? It's time to get up and go, an exercise segment on Golden Opportunities. Hello everybody, it's Mike Carbon from Breakout Fitness and today we're going to show you how to do a basic body squat using our exercise bands. Ready to go? Let's squat. Let's do it. Alright, we're going to start by standing on the center of the band. We want to make sure the band's even between both feet. All we're going to do here is we have a chair behind us just to kind of give us a guideline of how low we're going. So we're going to go ahead and squat down until our backside touches the chair and then simply stand up. The resistance of the band is going to make it a little harder and help you work on them legs. How are you feeling? Oh, it feels good. Excellent. Now we're looking for 12 to 15 repetitions here and at least two to three sets uh, to build your legs. Doing good. All right. All right. All right, everybody. Now it's your turn to get up and go. Perfect. For your copy of the exercise booklet, send $1 for postage to Golden Opportunities, 6105 Parkland Boulevard, Suite 140, Mayfield Heights, Ohio, 44124. If you've ever tried to lose weight, you know it's not easy, but imagine if you had more than just a diet to guide you. Registered nurse Mary Ellen Lawless has joined us in Metro Health studio to tell us about a weight loss program that is really making strides. So welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Strides is the name of the program that we're talking about, right? So what does that stand for? Strides stands for Steps to Reach Individual Diet and Exercise Solutions. It's a perfect name. <laughs> it is, and we know that people who join the program make one stride at a time towards healthy eating and active living. STRIDES is a healthy behavior lifestyle program that helps individuals create their own individual plan for their particular situation. And that's important because if you don't follow it, it's not going to help you. So what kind of tools do you offer to people? That's a great question. In addition to information about nutrition and activity, we have what we call the behavioral success skills. The success skills help people change and keep up healthy behaviors to help them be successful for the long term. Okay. And I understand the program has four classes in it, correct? That's correct. So it's a an, another acronym that's the word SHIP. So let's talk about those classes then. So we're starting out with S and that is? Stopping setbacks. We know that oftentimes people have all or nothing thinking about a diet and oftentimes they plan not to eat something that's less healthy and for some reason it happens 
and then they decide that, you know, I blew it, I can't do it, I knew I couldn't do it, I might as well just forget it. But we want to help them manage the setbacks. It's not that they've had the setback, it's how they manage it. And this class really focuses on that. And that's a big one, I know. So, so in class number two, that goes with the H, what is that? Class two is handling feelings. We often say to our striders, it's not what you're eating, it's what's eating you. Mm -hmm. There can be no comfort eating without discomfort. So we help striders deal with those uncomfortable emotions or feelings that they may want to try to manage with unhealthy food choices. So we help them minimize those unhealthy um, choices by dealing or handling those feelings. Okay. Again, very important, this is great. The third class is called Improving Decisions. Well, that sounds like it's hard, is it? Well, I think if we can give them the right tools, it will help them be successful. Those, that class focuses primarily on thinking about it. Do I need to eat this less healthy choice to be successful? They can improve their decision by saying, I don't need to eat this to survive. Oftentimes we think that piece of cake is just going to help me in the moment, but if we think about it, they don't need it to survive and it won't help them be successful. It is hard not to eat it, but if they can improve their decisions using those scales, it will help them. All right, so do I need it to survive? No, I don't have to have that then, that's good. Finally is problem solving. Right, we wanna help our striders solve their problems or their roadblocks to healthy eating and active living. So we do this with another acronym, it's called SET set a goal, evaluate progress, and that will help them take responsible action. So for example, if I want to lose up to one to two pounds per week, I can evaluate that by, do I have the right healthy foods on board? Do I, am I logging my food? And there I can take responsible action. All right, this sounds like a great program. So most diets are here today, gone tomorrow. STRIDES is designed with your whole life and your health in mind. This program is just one more way that Metro Health is demonstrating that change is healthy. My thanks to Mary Ellen for showing us how we can make great strides towards living a healthy, active lifestyle. To learn more, call Metro Health at 216-778-7800 or log on to www.metrohealth.org. Next, in the Caregiver's Corner. Hilltop Village Apartments is retirement living at its best. Residents enjoy a wide variety of activities and living services with all large first floor apartments, private screened in patios with beautiful park views, daily dining room meals, free laundry facilities, 24 hour staff and so much more. Enjoy safe, comfortable independence at a very affordable price. Call today for a tour and learn how you can get your first month's rent free. Hilltop Village Apartments, retirement living at its best. Did you miss a phone number or website? Then here's your second chance because we're gonna list all of that information again. Then we'll be back to help make sure home care is really helpful. Most people want to stay in their homes as they age. That could even include rehabbing from an illness or injury at home. Today, there are more and more choices to allow you to remain at home, but what's available to you and how do you pick the best option for you? Here with some home-cooked advice is my down-home law partner, Mike Solomon. Hey, Lori. Hey, welcome back to the show. So it doesn't seem like there's any one real definition of home care when you're trying to you know, rehab or stay in your home. Can you help us understand what home care actually includes? Well, sure. It's you know, generally professional home health care services cover a broad range of services and items like that. For example, they can, first of all, they can help you if you're in a high, recovering from a hospital stay, you have a disability, maybe you have a chronic illness or even you know, a terminal illness. They can help that and they can provide services from 
you know, medical care, uh, therapeutic care, or just, you know, helping you with the day-to-day -day activities, essential activities of life. And, and they're not all created equal. Some will only provide, let's say, uh, non-medical services. Another will, will provide the gamut or just the medical services. So each one might be different. Okay. And there, there's um, lots of services available to caregivers who are assisting a, a loved one to try to stay at home. Um, how do we make sure they can get quality care at an affordable price? Well, you know, generally it's, it's probably not much different than when you do anything, when you get, you know, some uh, you know, legal services or accounting services. You might want to ask people. So, for example, you might go to your doctor and, and say, you know, first of all, what sort of care does my relative need? And then do you have a recommendation? Do you have a referral for me? Uh, you might ask neighbors and friends and relatives, you know, what experiences they've gone through. Do they have someone they can recommend? And you can do a little web searching. You know, you can go online and there's... Uh, you can go to some websites, and, and they'll be on the screen here, that, you know, medicare.gov slash homecompare or eldercare.gov uh, slash eldercare.net. Easy to et remember. Et cetera, et cetera, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, and there's a telephone number that, that might be the best thing to do, 800-677-1116. Call, and you can do a little comparison shopping that way. Okay, so you can get some recommendations, but once you've got some names in mind, what kind of questions you have to ask to make sure the care is going to be appropriate? You know, this is really important. So, you know, number one, you ask you know, how long have they been in business. If they've been in business three days, then it might not be someone you want to use. You know, do, what insurances do they accept? Medicare, Medicaid, private insurance. Are they accredited? You know, do they have they? You know, there are a bunch of different agencies that will give a stamp of approval. Do they have those accreditations? Are they licensed by the state? Some states require them to have licenses. So if you, you know, if you live in a state that does that, then see if they have a license. You know, how do they make sure that the information about this person is, is kept confidential? You want to know how that's done. Uh, you know, what's their plan of care and who do they give it to? Do they write things out and do they give you this plan of care? Another one I think is important, you know, what happens if the person doesn't show up? Do they have a backup plan? And right. who do you call so you don't all of a sudden find you know, no one's there and you don't know who to deal with. And there, there are all sorts of other questions that you, you, we could, if we had time on the show, we'd talk about. Yeah. I wish we had more time, too, for more of a detailed home cook recipe for home care. But this is a great start. For more detailed information, please pick up this month's issue of Northeast Ohio Parent Magazine and look for the Aging Answers Supplement. Or call Mike. His number's next. Call Solomon, Steiner, and Peck at one 888 Two three six fifty one seventy three for more information or to schedule a speaker for your organization or log on to www.ssnplaw.com. Thanks for joining us. Join us next week, but until then, please remember to make the best of your golden opportunities. If you'd like to join our kitchen conversation, visit our website www.goldenopportunities.tv Like us on Facebook. Call us at 440-742-GO-TV or email us at kitchen at goldenopportunities.tv We'd love to hear from you. Opportunities is paid for by Elder Productions.